Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to talk about Word templates. It's a rather important subject. And as usual in SharePoint world, there's lots of different ways of doing the same thing. And I'm going to show you the easiest ones first, and then I'm going to get into the more complicated ways of doing things. And in general, I do recommend the more complicated ways of doing things because they have the strongest benefits and uh, you will regret it if you don't do it the right way from the start. But I will show you the simplest way. And I think of SharePoint functionality in general that, you know, it's much better than the file system. It's much better than mailing things around. So if you get things into SharePoint, then you've done a good thing. If you've done everything correctly in SharePoint, then it's even better. But if it's too much work for you, too much hassle, you know, don't set the bar too high. Just get stuff into SharePoint, then we can improve things later. So I'm going to talk about templates in general. Now, when you click on new here, start with a blank Word document. And of course, this is using the Calibri font. There's no logo for your company and nothing like that. And regretfully, Word Online doesn't really have a functionality for dealing with that. So what I'm going to show you is what to do instead. The simplest thing you can do is go into Library and Library Settings, and then go into Advanced Settings. And here you can edit the template that's being used, or you can point out an, a URL to another template. If you edit that template and launch Word, of course, then you can go in and add a company logo very simply like that in the header so now i've created my template i'm just going to show you that now i just close that and of course word remembers where i got that now if i go back let's jump back into internet explorer there and that's fine now if i click new word document again I will not get that template. Word Online does not use that template at all. You see, I didn't get the logo there. But if I go on the Files tab, select New Document, and there select New Document, then it's open up, not in Word Online, but in Word, and then I get the proper template. So I can start <laughs> typing there. So that's the easiest way of working with templates. Under Library Settings, change the template there, advanced settings and then teach your users to go into files and select there instead so that's the easiest way of doing it i'm going to show you a more complex way of doing it and better ways later in other demos thank you for watching this demo